Welcome back to Good Morning Sports fans, where we've got team news for England's World Cup last 16 tie against Nigeria. Let's get back to Anton Tolui and Jess Crichton out in Brisbane. And uh, they are there with us, the dream team together now rather than apart. Um, what can you tell us about the team news that's just broken in the last few minutes? Look, the big news, the big news for England fans is that Kira Walsh is back. Ten days after she went down with what looked like a horrible looking knee injury. Two training sessions she's had this week on the grass and she is back on the pitch today in the fulcrum of England's midfield. They're going to make one change from the side that demolished China in their final group game and that is Katie Zellum drops out for Kira Walsh. So let's go through the team and it is yet again a back three for England. It's Mary Earps in goal. That back three, Millie Bright in the centre, Jess Carter on the right, Alex Greenwood on the left of the back three. Lucy Bronze and Rachel Daly will patrol the wing back positions in the midfield. Kira Walsh is alongside her longtime former Manchester City teammate, Georgia Stanway, with Lauren James playing right in front of them. And up front, it's a terrible twosome potentially of Alessia Russo and Lauren Hemp who's hoping to be score yet again at the World Cup on her birthday. Not a bad looking team. I'm sure Serena Beekman is very happy that she can call again on the world's most expensive player at the heart of that midfield. And Jess, you've been going through the Nigeria team. I have been, and uh, big news from the Nigeria team is that their star, star striker, uh, the person that has been key to Nigeria over the years and all the success that they've had, Asasat Oshwala, starts on the bench. Um, we did ask the head coach, Randy Waldrum, in the pre-match press conference whether Osasat Oshwala was fit and available to start. He did say that she was, but she starts on the bench tonight. And you'll remember Osasat Oshwala during this Women's World Cup because she scored that, what turned out to be the winning goal against the co-host uh, Australia. And you'll remember the celebration. She ripped off her shirt, arms flailing um, to pose and posture in front of the cameras. Yeah, she was so excited uh, about that goal. She's on the bench for this Nigeria team uh, today. Let me just give you a rundown of that team because it is pretty strong. They have a back four of Ashley Plumter, who uh, WSL fans will remember. She played at Leicester City uh, for the last couple of seasons, free agent currently. Olu Denahim in the centre with uh, Oshinachi Olhala. Uh, Michelle Alozi as right back. We've got two holding midfielders of uh, Halamatu Aide and Christy Achiba. A forward three of Achiba Kanu. Tony Payne and Rashidat Ajibade and then in place of Oshuala up front leading the line is Efe Onumonu and the captain of the team is the goalkeeper just 22 years of age but already at her second Women's World Cup is Chiamaka Ndozi a very strong Nigeria team who are confident after yeah. earning points against Canada the Olympic, Olympic champions in the group stages and that shock win against the co-host Australia but they're up against the European champions. And thank you for talking about the Nigeria team without mentioning their goalkeepers already saved a penalty in this tournament. Because we don't want to mention the P word Dewey this evening, morning, whatever it is. What time is it? Where are we? Great stuff. OK, thanks to both of you.